Hey guys, I'm Jared. I was born on August 18, 2001 and was raised in good old Valley Station. I was the first of no siblings that my parents had. I guess I was a handful when I was a kid, but who really knows? People have a misconception that only children are lonely and spoiled, but I'm living proof that we aren't lonely and only a little bit spoiled. My parents have always been there for me when I need them, and I love them to death and would definitely put them in running for best parents in the world. They're so supportive and just I really appreciate all that they do for me. When I was little, my best friend was my papa Pat. We would always go to Ohio Valley and just watch drag races. I'd always stay the night at his house, and I remember getting Burger King for breakfast, which was awesome. He'd always get the bacon, egg, and cheese croissant, and I'd always get French toast sticks. He helped me get through a lot of things throughout middle school, so when he got kidney cancer, I tried to spend as much time with him as possible. He loved cars and drag racing, so it kind of rubbed off on me, and I know that my midlife crisis is going to be buying cars every month and doing car shows just like him. The day before Christmas break during my 8th grade year, I went to a sleepover with my friends. I was asleep when my dad woke me up at around 1 o'clock in the morning to visit Papa. Me being naive, I was super excited to see him, but as soon as we got to the hospital, those butterflies turned into grief as I was told that by my mother that he passed away. I was devastated as I had lost one of my mentors in a battle against cancer. Not a lot of you guys know that I used to play baseball. It's not a secret, but it's just not something I talk about to everybody. I played for 10 years from t-ball to playing on my middle school team. One thing my papa and my parents told me was to do what made me happy. And after he passed, I decided that baseball wasn't what I wanted to do anymore. I decided to go against the grain and started to focus on the arts instead of sports. I've been in choir since the sixth grade, but high school is really when I started to take it seriously. Since the summer leading into my sophomore year, I've been in eight musicals, including Hairspray twice, School of Rock twice, Footloose, Grease, Elf, Little Mermaid, and then I guess that's it, you know? I've met so many people doing these shows, but none have impacted me as much as my girlfriend, Haley. We have known each other since the second Hairspray and hit it off from the start. I finally got the courage to ask her out after we were boyfriend, girlfriend, and Elf the Musical, and we've been going strong ever since. My mom has single-handedly made me the man I am today. She is my best friend, and I have no idea where I'd be without her. She helps me whenever I'm feeling down, she encourage, encourages me whenever I don't believe in myself. I just don't know where I'd be without her, and I really appreciate everything that she does for me. One piece of advice that I think everybody should live by is that I think you should do what makes you happy. Don't change yourself just to fit in with anybody else. I don't know where I'd be if I was still playing baseball, but I definitely know I wouldn't be where I am today. Happy and grateful for what I have. Thank you so much.